Hey guys, so this is the second time I'm trying to shoot this video. Um, I have like a taste test review type video on a company called Thin Slim Foods. They pride themselves on being like super healthy, low carb, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, I decided to try them because one, they approached me about being an affiliate, so there's that. And two, um, they have brownies that are super low in points. And when I say super low, I mean like they're one point per brownie. So they sent me a sampler box to just go over, try, uh, and do a review on. So I was going to jump right into it because my dinner is cooking and I want to be done this before that starts. So the first thing is this. Yes, it is in a different bag. This is something called Impostable. As cheesy as that is. Um, it is pasta. And I actually had this for lunch, so if you guys saw my daily vlog today, you guys know what I had. And I'm going to have it with my dinner as well. We're having Salisbury steak over egg noodles, but I'm going to do mine over these noodles. So this is real pasta. Wholesome pasta you can enjoy with far less carbs. Don't settle for imitation noodles or fake food. Real taste. We are that confident that you will love our pasta. It actually comes with a taste guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can get your money back. At least that's how I understand that. Real healthy. We pride ourselves on using the very best quality natural ingredients that fit in with your diet and keep you healthy. So it says on here, want to enjoy a low carb, healthy versions of bread, bagels, muffins, brownies, cookies, pizza, and more. Then head on over to thinslimfoods.com to find out more about our low carb, low calorie alternatives. And then it goes into the nutrition facts. I will have a, or a link down below, by the way, if you guys do want to go try this out. It'll be 50% off your sampler box. I think everyone's is a little bit different because I do know that Kim or Lori, I don't remember which one I was talking to earlier, <laughs> uh, over at Fit and Fabulous Mamas said they got a box as well and it didn't have the pasta in it. So I don't know. But um, for two ounces, which is your normal pasta serving, is 65 calories, a half a gram of fat, zero saturated fat, 44 carbs, 36 fiber zero sugar and six protein so the fact that there are 44 carbs at 36 grams of fiber you're only getting eight net carbs so there's that it is soy and shirataki free i don't know what that means um other than the fact that i know it doesn't have soy in it but i did have this for lunch it is one smart point per serving actually everything you're seeing here is one smart point per serving um it tastes fine the flavor is, it tastes like pasta. So basically it's a catalyst for sauce. But the texture is something else. It's chewy. How would you describe it? Chewy, but like what? Huh? How would you describe the way this pasta tasted? Like texture wise, chewy? Okay, his description would be wet paper. So, I think that's actually fairly accurate. However, I can get over that texture because it's pasta. So mine just tasted like garlic and butter wet paper. It's not bad. I don't know how much it is for the bag. The bag is only eight ounces. So it's a half a pound. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be upwards of like the seven to eight, nine dollar range. I will put the prices in below. Um, I have to go on the website and look everything up. You would've thought I came a little bit more prepared than I did. But, it's decent size. I mean, it works for being pasta. Like, and for two points, you can't say it. For two points, you know, per serving, or one point per serving, I can get on that bandwagon. The next thing I'm not going to taste test again because I wasn't very excited about it is their bread. They sent me their onion bread, or everything bread, I'm sorry. Um, it is still one slice, or one slice for one point. Your nutrition facts are 50 calories per slice, 2 grams of fat, 1 saturated, 8 uh, carb, 7 fiber, which means there's 1 net carb, uh, 0 sugar, and 7 protein. So I will say the size of the bread is bigger than the one slices or the one point slice of bread that I eat. Texture wise, it's kind of, um, it's like eating a slice of stale potato bread. That is the exact feel. Which, to me, isn't bad. I don't mind stale bread, but I actually prefer it on sandwiches, but I like stale white 
bread. So this, I think if I toast it, it'll be a little bit better. So we'll probably give this a shot, maybe tomorrow morning. Um, but I'm not gonna taste it on camera because I don't want to. I've already tasted it twice today. And then we get into the good stuff. So we're gonna go with this thing first because I've already eaten three quarters of it. So I have to put this in my tracker. This is a slim, thin slim foods peanut butter square. So they come in like a little package. They are so one smart point. 40 calories, one fat, zero saturated, 20 carbs, eight fiber, zero sugar, six protein. Um, I had one that was also a brownie. It was like a, a chocolate version of this. That one I liked. It's definitely a texture thing with this company. This is wet. Like it's actually wet to the touch. Um, I don't know if you guys can, you can't because the light's on, but there's so much moisture to it. I'm kind of like eating a cupcake that's been waterlogged. I don't get peanut butter from this at all. I do get almond and wet. I would not recommend the peanut butter version. I would recommend the brownie one. The brownie one is pretty decent. I'm just gonna wind up eating this whole thing. I have a point. You can't complain about something being a point. All right, next up, vanilla cookie. 40 calories, one fat, zero saturated, zero trans, 20 carbs, eight fiber, zero sugar, six protein. So it's pretty much the exact same thing. Um, apparently I'm supposed to freeze it. He said, I'm probably just gonna wind up eating all this tonight. I bought my scissors. All right, so this one isn't wet, that's good. It smells like literally nothing, absolutely nothing. If you took like store brand pound cake mixed with like an angel food little Debbie, you would have that cookie. It wasn't bad, it was not good. It's edible, and if you're craving something sweet, it's there. I'm not, that's okay, I'll probably throw that out. Next up is a one point cinnamon muffin, which you can't see because my camera doesn't autofocus. Do you know how to make this thing autofocus, Dave? Dave, do you know how to make this thing autofocus? You don't have to do it now. Oh, do you know how to make the camera autofocus? Okay, that's all I wanted to know, geez. All right, so 40 calories, one gram of fat, zero saturated, 20 carb, eight fiber, zero sugar, six protein. So the normal, or what seems to be the normal, amount of nutritional info. Little, little muffin. Texture is okay. Texture is muffiny. Yes. So much yes. This is good. This has to go on the Everything has a stale texture. I don't know if that's because it's low carb, low sugar, what, but I'm not gonna lie, it's it good. That's really good. And I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it later. Ooh, I'm dropping the crumbs. Now the last thing in my box is this cookie. Did you just giggle? This is cookie, chocolate glazed cookie. 63 calories, one fat, zero saturated, 36 carb, 20 fiber, one sugar, and eight protein. This kind of melted a little. So there's a lot of the chocolate goo that is stuck to the wrapper. So we're gonna taste that first. Mmm, fake chocolate, just like mom used to make. It's sticky. 
out to par 37. Frank is just under 200 yards. Oh, but that's okay. Very narrow entry on that left side. So you want to hit the ball flush. That is so good. I will put the prices of everything that I had below. Obviously, the sweeter stuff I really enjoyed. I like the pasta. The bread is iffy. The brownie good. Peanut butter bar, no, don't buy it. Don't do it unless you want to die. Um, muffin good. Link below, 50% off your sampler pack. Um, if you live in the General Jersey area, there is a store called Linda's Diets Delights that sells this. She can go there and buy it as well. I think it's like, it's an hour away from me and I'm like 10 minutes outside of Philly. So, like Princeton-y area, give or take. I know the company itself is based in Princeton. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go finish cooking dinner. I'm also gonna eat that chocolate cookie. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!